Dawson's Fountain Coffee. Seamers Dundee Hilda, submitted by Jordan Seamers of Cleveland, Wisconsin. Our reserve senior champion was second in that production call class, entry number 299, by John J.P. Edge of Reason, exhibited by Jordan and Whitney Ebert of Algoma, Wisconsin. A little earlier this afternoon, we selected our intermediate champion from the younger cow classes. That was our winning fall yearling and milk, entry number 175, Seamers Sanchez IMA, exhibited by J.P. Dupengeiser of Perry, New York. Our reserve intermediate champion was our winning junior two-year-old cow, entry number 183, Fisherdale Damian Reality, exhibited by Elizabeth Sarbacher of Verona, Wisconsin. And our junior champions were the best of the heifer show that took place this morning. Our winner and junior champion was the first place fall calf, entry number 88, Peace and Plenty Asteroid Fishy, exhibited by Austin Schwartzbeck of Union Bridge, Maryland. Our reserve junior champion was our second place fall heifer calf, entry number 81, REW Happy Go Lucky, exhibited by Max Wolf of Lebanon, Connecticut. And at this time, it's my pleasure to turn it over to Judge Larry Tandy to name our grand and reserve grand champions of the International Junior Homestead Show. Well, thank you very much. And just a couple of words before we, we name our champions. To the youth that are out here, dream big. The world is at your footstep, footstep, footstep. You can do what you want to. Did I ever think at this age that I'd have the opportunity to judge my color and change? You know, there might be some people here that say, well, maybe you should. But nonetheless, uh, what an opportunity. And you never know where you go, what you can do. The sky's the limit, juniors, go for it. And to the adults that are here, thanks to mom and dad who paid the expenses, who brought the youngsters out here, to the professional people that got them ready for the show, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, they need your support. And what a beautiful show it's been here today. I don't know if Norman Novels is in the arena. If he is, um, thank you, Norman. It was an honor to be able to fill in for you, and I, I couldn't do it as well as you. There's probably nobody, actually nobody, that knows cattle, show cattle, better than Norman Alves, bar none. And he can do it, and he can do it well. And it's very, very humbling in, in two different reasons, to be able to judge it, and to be asked after Norman Alves to do it. And I, and I thank you very, very much for that opportunity. Bob Hagen, thank you, sir. We worked well today. They were good games, and we go from there. This is our junior champion today, folks. First place ball kick. Lovely effort. Just put together well, some strength through the front end, strength up the top line. Probably one of the best rear-legged efforts that have been out here today. A good junior two-year-old was in there. They mounted her out. She loses just a little bit of her spark when not with a full letter, but that's all right. One calf to her. This good full milking senior yearling, I like her. I think of all the cattle out here as they go to the next level in their individual classes, she might do as well as any of them out here. But saying that, both this milking full senior yearling and this two-year-old have only got one calf. And I don't generally be very generous with that. I'd like to see two calves through them. And so you know what I'm going to do? It's going to the two production cows for Grand and Reserve. Woo! Woo! Two great cows. They're over 125,000 pounds of milk. The others are in there where they need to be. The good five-year-old is in there, and we'll make her honorable mention. She's just a little shorter body, shorter leg, a little tighter rib than our Grand <laughs> and Reserve today. Congratulations to all. What a super international junior host. My thanks to you.